Your Weather Nation severe weather coverage continues. And we continue our severe weather coverage here at Weather Nation. No tornado warnings out there right now, but we've got several uh, severe thunderstorm warnings that we will continue to monitor. You can see the radar right below me there, all the way from uh, the high plains. We're talking about North and South Dakota down to the Gulf of Mexico. Still a lot of rain showing up and a big uh, thunderstorm, a big thunderhead anyways, near Dilly, Texas. Todd Stricker and Livestorm's video showing that on the far right hand side of your screen. If you were with us here about 10 minutes ago, we talked about, uh, listen, how tornadoes form showing you a tornado machine, which is really, really some cool stuff. Well, uh, meteorologist Brandon Thorne actually was able to take this to Sand Creek Elementary School in Highlands Ranch, Colorado to share with the kids. Take a look. We're here at Highlands Ranch at Sand Creek Elementary School where the second grade students have been learning about the weather. Their favorite subject was tornadoes. As you saw in our Weather Nation workshop, we had a tornado machine. So we brought that here so that the kids could play with it and learn how tornadoes work. <laughs> siren sounding, that county that you're living in, so that way if the storm has the possibility or is already making a tornado, you can seek shelter right away. You get an updraft. What that updraft does is actually provides that and sucks it up. And then you get the tornado. Again, we have all of our condensation in the atmosphere and everything that we need. The only thing that all this needs is an updraft. So this big fan is going to create that updraft. Oh yeah. Should we do it? Yeah. I loved that you brought me in that tornado machine, and I loved how to, I, and I love learning about how they form. They've never seen a tornado made right, yeah. right in front of their eyes. They really understood how it formed, um, how he, you know, he blew this, it to the side. I think they, um, I think they will remember that forever. Thank you. Listen, there is nothing better than going to a school, teaching kids about weather and having fun. Did you just hear that excitement? Whoa, cool stuff. Thanks so much for allowing us to be a uh, part of your school at Sand Creek Elementary School in Colorado. I do want to go back to the Viper Radar to keep everyone up to date on exactly what we're talking about here. Uh, again, sure hope you've had a wonderful and safe Sunday. Listen, we've been seeing the very hot weather out on the West Coast, the hot weather, beautiful weekend on the East Coast. We're going to be talking with Joel Barnes about more of that coming up here momentarily, but I want to keep you up to date on the showers and thunderstorms for some of the major metropolitan areas. And we'll start uh, just off to the West. How about uh, Omaha and Kansas City? Kind of uh, just to the west and southwest of you folks, but this rain probably is going to be sliding in here before the night's over, so it is going to be kind of a soggy uh, start to your Monday in, some, Monday in some locations, and even Fort Smith to Fayetteville down to by right around Texarkana along Interstate uh, 20 and through Oklahoma City. Definitely some soggy conditions there here at this hour. So the thing is, is if we do see some clearing skies overnight tonight in some of those locations, patchy, dense fog to get started on your Monday. Dallas, Texas on the southeastern suburbs down to paralleling Interstate 35 and points further to the south, Houston, Texas. No stranger to that onshore flow of some heavy rain. You know who's no stranger to some heavy stuff? We're talking about Denver, Colorado. Let's go ahead and bring in Joel Barnes. And Joel, uh, listen, talk about some wet, heavy spring snow. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, did create some travel concerns. Uh, DIA going 100% full, though, for your Sunday, so that's good. I'll make up for all those flights we missed on Saturday, uh, but still some slick roadways, still some snow-packed roads out there tonight. Plow's doing a great job, but it's difficult when you're dealing with, how about this, almost four feet of snow in the conifer area, making drifts six, seven foot high snow drifts out there. And those slick roadways did lead to some accidents. Places like Parker almost got two feet of snow, which is a suburb just to the southeast of Denver. Here's a suburb south of Denver as well. Highlands Ranch there blanketed with heavy wet snow did take down some tree branches. Uh, Evergreen just to the west of Denver, 24 inches. Centennial right here at the Weather Nation Studios, 16 inches of snowfall and over a foot in Aurora, just to the east of Denver. Here's some of the mountain totals. Conifer there, almost up to your four feet, over four feet in Pine Cliff. That's the 50 inches of snowfall and still snowing tonight in Taos, starting to let up a little bit in Vail and into Cheyenne, Wyoming. This is what it looks like in Denver right now, 34 degrees. We'll have the radars coming up and more on the Viper tracking the snow, show you where it's going tonight, as well as a look at your temperatures across the rest of the country. That's all coming up this hour on Weather Nation.